What's going on guys? Today we're going over the best dating apps for you to use. We'll be talking about Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, Match.com, Plenty of Fish, and eHarmony. Mr. Confidence, how you feeling? Yeah, video 17. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? I'm just here so I won't get fined. Well, at least stay for the intro. I'm dancing to Drake. Drop that. Hey. Trips that you plan for the next whole week. Yeah, Drake? <laughs> Drake? <laughs> the nigga that got body by Pusha T? Well, big soldier, you ain't had a hit in a while. Oh, I got something. This right here is my sway. Sway. All the girls are on me. Sway. You know what I just realized? I never introduced myself. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mr. Confident, and I help guys get good with talking to females. And I know what you're thinking. What a beautiful chocolate man! Come on, get the fuck out of here. Stop wasting my time. What makes me an expert? Well... Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. <laughs> now, let me be clear. My primary method for teaching guys to get good with females is approaching them in person. Once you develop that kind of confidence where you can talk to people in person, it doesn't just apply to you walking up and talking to females. It applies to you going to interviews and making business deals and things that'll help you in life. So that's why I prefer teaching guys how to approach in person. When are y'all gonna get to the goddamn point? Fine. Today we're gonna be reviewing Match.com, eHarmony, Plenty of Fish, Hinge, Bumble, and last but not least, Tinder. I'm gonna have some reviews and tricks and tips for some of the apps that I'm really familiar with. So stay to the end of the video where I can show you one of the tips that help one of my clients double their match rates. Let's get right into it. So let's start with Match.com. And me being as transparent as I am, I'm be honest with you, I've never signed up for Match.com. You're kidding, right? And I've never asked one of my students to sign up for Match.com. Why? Because it's $25 a month. Now, if you watch some of my videos, how many dates can I get with $25? You guessed it. Five dates. Five coffee dates. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. So, no. We're not signing up for Match.com. However, I did do some research on it, and I found out that Match.com was the first online dating website that was introduced in 1993. Uh, it's primary use is for mostly for people that are interested in having relationships. The reason why most females don't like Match.com is one, because you have to pay for it. And two, because you don't have to match with a person to actually contact them. Anybody can hit them up, like an old person, a, a couple looking for an open relationship, uh, someone that's five states away that wants a long distance relationship. So those are just some of the reasons that came up on why people don't like Match.com anymore. And I think it's a little bit more outdated now that Tinder is around. Next up, eHarmony. Now if you thought paying for Match.com was terrible, eHarmony costs $60 for one month. You're joking. And if you sign up for six months, it's $30 a month. Now the difference between eHarmony and other dating websites is it doesn't allow you to swipe on people. I mean, what is the point? The point? It actually sends you matches the algorithm thinks that you match with. So what you do is you go through those matches daily, every day that you get them, and you contact the people that you would actually like to talk to. So if you're someone that's looking for a relationship or marriage, I would suggest you use eHarmony. The females on there are paying for this dating website, so they're obviously a little bit more serious about fucking finding someone that they can actually build with. Plenty of fish. Plenty of fish holds a special place in my heart. Because of Plenty of Fish, I've been almost robbed twice in college, and it went something like this. Bring me your shit, nigga. Anything you got, I want it, nigga. Is this Metro PCS? Yo, bro, I ain't got much. That's why I'm out here robbing niggas. But if you need a couple dollars, my nigga, I, I got you. You hungry, bro? And catfish multiple times on their platform. And I know, being a young flashy guy from Harlem made me a target because I did a lot of flashy stuff. So I will not place the full blame of me almost getting robbed on Plenty of Fish. But the catfishing, it's ridiculous. And at first I thought maybe it was me having bad luck, but then I would talk to other guys that use the same website and we all had similar experiences. Enough for me to actually make a video called Online Dating Red Flags. Here's a snippet of the video and a rundown of all of the females that have catfished me. Big girls, small girls, skinny girls, tall girls, bald girls, 
Yeah, I said bald girls. Girls with too much weave. Girls that are knock kneed. Girls that are six feet. Girls who think too deep. I think I'm forgetting a few. Oh, yeah. There was Brenda, Letitia, Linda, Felicia, Dawn, LaShawn, Inez, and Delisha. In my personal opinion, the only dating website worse than Plenty of Fish is if you consider Craigslist a dating app website. So Hinge is different because it primarily also focuses on relationships. The way Hinge works, instead of swiping left or right, like on Tinder and Bumble, you actually engage with people's stories and you like or you can reply to some of the comments that they have. And then they let the female know that you liked one of their pictures or you commented on one of the questions that they had on their story. Now Hinge works well if you're in one of the big cities like New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, but if you're in a small city, it's not going to work that well for you because there's not a lot of people that are on Hinge as compared to Tinder and Bumble. One of the biggest cons that most of my students complain about is the fact that it's a lot more effort compared to swiping on Tinder. So you actually have to put effort into contacting these females and talking to them instead of you just swiping and then if you match, at least you know that there's some physical attraction there and you can go from there. So Match.com, eHarmony, and Hinge are more so relationship apps. Now let's get into the more casual dating apps. Uh, it's about damn time. It's about damn time. Next up, Bumble. I'm not going to spend too much time explaining what Bumble and Tinder is because most people use these two apps. On Bumble, females have to contact you within the first 24 hours if they want to have a conversation with you. The feedback that I've been getting is that women on Tinder are higher quality than the women on Bumble because they have to do less work on Tinder. So on Bumble, you actually have to contact the guy. Bumble's a lot better for guys that are shy with talking to females because girls make the initial move. It's also a better app if you want to hook up more often because females have to make the first move in 24 hours. So most girls just show up ready to go like this. So what's up? Where are we going? Ain't know where we going. Show me your eggplant. Show me your dick. I'm just trying to give you a run. Yeah, that's what I thought. So it gives a sense of urgency to the conversation, which can lead to a date, which can lead to you dropping that D off. I'm dropping D off. I'm dropping D off. A con to Bumble is because women have to make the first move, you don't get as many conversations going on Bumble. Last but not least, Tinder. You know the drill. Swipe left, swipe right, match. Nothing too complicated. I'm just going to jump right into the pros and cons because everybody knows what Tinder is. The pro of Tinder is if you're good looking, you're going to get a ton of matches. But that's also a con because if you aren't the best looking, you aren't going to get a ton of matches. Well, obviously. Most guys on Tinder are either doing really well or doing really terrible. There aren't too many people that fall in the middle. Because the people in the middle, they might start off doing okay. But then as the algorithms start to take effect, they start to not get as many matches as they were getting in the beginning. I've decided not to go in depth on the pros and cons because I know you're only here for the tips and tricks. So here we go. Tip number one only works on Tinder, not on Bumble. If you're too cheap to pay for the app and you want to see what girls have swiped right on you, what you do is you pull your location miles back to one and more than likely the girls that have swiped right on you are gonna still show up I think it's just a glitch but if she's five miles away and you have your location set to only seeing girls to one mile then there's a pretty high chance that she's already swiped right on you yes 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 tip number two most dating apps are for people ages 25 to 35 so I don't judge if you're someone who wants to lie you can just put your year as you are the age in between 25 to 35 which I'd probably go for about 30 but if you want to tell the truth you're gonna to need to pay for the app for this so on tinder what you can do is you can actually hide your age and then when you hide your age then you can change your age to the ages in between 25 to 35 and when you start to conversate with the person you can just tell her that I'm interested in dating younger or older women and that's why I hide my age because I don't want to lie about my age but I typically connect with older or younger women and I noticed that Tinder only shows guys females that are actually in their age range so if you want to date a woman in her 20s you're gonna put your age in 20s and if you want to date a woman in her 30s then you're gonna put your age in 30s so this works for you if you're a younger guy like 18 19 and an older guy in your 40s 
most older women don't want to date a guy that's 18 or 19 years old if she's 22, 23. She's more than likely looking for a guy her age or someone older. And most guys that are over 40, 20 year olds are not typically looking for 40 year olds unless they're looking for a sugar daddy. Wait, did someone say sugar daddy? Get him, Hector. <laughs> So there's a really slim chance that a girl in her 30s and definitely in her 20s is going to have an age range that's going to reach to the 40s. When people sign up for Tinder, the age range for a female is usually in their age range. So if a girl's 25, she's only going to be seeing guys that are between 20 to 29. And if a girl is 30 something, she's only going to see guys that are in their 30s to 39 unless they change the age that they're looking for. Tip 3 is simple. If you're not getting matches on Tinder, it's probably because the algorithm has taken its effect. So delete your profile and start a fresh one. If you're not paying for Tinder Gold, try using the mile trip tip that I just showed you and see how that works out. If you are using Tinder Gold, you can see the girls that like you and once you start a new profile, Tinder is going to give you a boost to get you excited about being on Tinder and it's going to try to match you with as many females as possible. You can delete this a few times and then Tinder will catch on and they'll probably not allow you to use the Tinder Gold anymore. So what you can do is you call Apple and let them know that the app is not working and they'll just issue you a refund. And guess what? You can go back and purchase Tinder Gold all over again. And the best tip that I can give you is if you want to put your best foot forward on these dating apps, Go out and get professional pictures done. Just two. Just two professional pictures, one with you dressed up and one with you casual. Get you a picture with a group. Uh, usually no pictures where you're with just a girl because most girls are going to assume that's your girlfriend. A picture of you with an animal is always cute. And a picture of you doing something fun like you traveling to China or being adventurous like climbing a mountain or something. Put those professional pictures to the front and then also show your other side with the adventurous pictures. You have to sell yourself on these dating profiles if you want to get more matches and attract more females. Well, that's all I got for you guys. This video took a ton of time researching and editing. So if you like the content, like, comment, share, subscribe. And um, I think I'm forgetting some. Oh, yeah. Got a message for you. Dating coaches. I got a message y'all for me. Playtime is over. And DJ, drop that. I expect you to like me. I mean, what is there not to like? I'm confident.